Hey friends, it's your boy Big TCG Fan coming back at you with another video. Today we're going to dip back into our Ranking the Set series. Our set today is Plane Shift, released in February 2001. It was the second set in the Invasion Black and still part of the very long Weatherlight Saga. It consisted of only 143 cards, with only three of them being legendary creatures. Because of this, we will not have an honorable mention. Coming in last place, we have Tarngoth Tolerum Hero. For three colorless and two red mana, you get a 4-4 creature who has Vigilance, and you can pay one colorless and one red to tap Tarngoth and have him deal his power to target creature and have that creature do its power in damage to Tarngoth. This is one of the first early variations of the fight ability. By slapping some death touch on Tarngoth, you could turn him into a control commander. But the trick, of course, is keeping him alive as well. He's a nice commander, but his abilities and prices do not meet up with the commanders above him on this list. In second place, we have Nemada, Grove Guardian. For four colorless and two green, you get a four five creature that you can pay two colorless and one green to put a 1-1 one, one sapperling into play. Its second ability is to sacrifice a sapperling to give all sapperlings plus one, plus one until end of turn. The first ability is a bit expensive to make a 1-1 one, one sapperling, but when you have excess mana in the end of someone's turn, it can work. The second ability is where the money shines. Green is the color to make sapperlings, and a lot of them. Losing one to give a buff is nice, especially since you can do it anytime. So in mid-combat, when one is about to die, you just sacrifice it to buff the rest of your army up. A nice commander that has tons of potential. The number one is Irte the Corrupted. For two colorless, one white, one blue, and one black mana, you get a 3-4 creature that you can pay one blue mana to sacrifice a creature or enchantment to counter any one target spell. I love control decks, and this commander is very much a control commander. The three colors for Irte are the best colors to manipulate the graveyard for either creatures or enchantments, so that the sacrifice option isn't as painful as it could be. It allows you to pick and choose exactly which spells you want to counter, even more so with Blue's ability to untap creatures so you can repeat the process multiple times. It can get out of control with other options you can add to penalize opponents or benefit yourself by sacrificing things. This commander is a great commander for controlling your opponents. The Plank Shift set was a small one and had very few cards that still echo in Magic's history as powerhouses compared to many other sets that are around this set. Cards like Diabolic Intent, Lord of the Dead, and Orm's Chant are nice cards, but probably the most renowned card in the set is Meddling Mage, which has seen a lot of tournament play. This concludes my video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you can. Peace out.